having to do with the Gulf Stream, Britain's farming industry could be destroyed if the North Atlantic current collapses. A collapse at the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, AMOC for short, could create havoc on Britain as it could prevent the country from farming crops. This is according to a new study showing the devastation revealed. Sean Martin Express UK reports the AMOC, AMOC, also known as the North Atlantic Current or the Gulf Stream, is weakening as a result of climate change. Thus, uh, we have more cold weather, especially this year again. Last year, and even more so this year, over the UK and Northern Europe, the experts have warned it could collapse. And if it does, Britain's crop farming industry, which brings in almost 10 billion pounds per year, could be significantly damaged, according to a new study. The AMOC carries heat from the Gulf of Mexico, the Gulf Stream, partially contributing to the heat of Northern Europe's climate, of course. The climate change is taking its toll on this current. The melting of ice of Greenland and the excessive rainfall over the Atlantic playing a major part in the weakening of the stream. It's because as more water enters the ocean from the north, the natural water, it uh, causes uh, the water to become less saline and uh, it blocks off the current or even reverses it entirely. The ice covering Greenland is up to three kilometers thick, thick in the certain places. It covers an area seven times the amount of the UK, and that means that it's a staggering amount of new water which would play a major part in blocking the current. If it does so, it could prevent the heat getting up to the UK, leading to temperature reduction of 3.4 degrees Celsius, which is a, a very big amount according to the study from the University of Exeter. And without the heat from the Gulf Stream, the agricultural industry in Britain would be significantly damaged. Dr. Paul Ritchie of the University of Exeter said, if the AMOC collapsed, we would expect to see much more dramatic change than is currently expected due to climate change. Such a collapse would reverse the effects of warming in Britain, creating an average temperature drop of 3.4 degrees Celsius and leading to a, sustain, a substantial reduction in rainfall that would be 123 millimeters during the growing season less than usual. So if this happens, it could prevent heat getting to the UK, leading to a temperature reduction of 3.4 degrees Celsius, according to the study from Exeter University. And without that heat from the Gulf Stream, the agricultural industry in Britain would be significantly damaged. Dr. Paul Ritchie of the University of Exeter said if the AMOC collapsed, we would expect to see much more dramatic change than is currently expected due to climate change. And such a collapse would reverse the effects of warming in Britain, creating an average temperature drop of 3.4 degrees Celsius, leading to a substantial reduction in rainfall. These changes, especially the drying, could make most land unsuitable for arable farming. Professor Tim Lenton, director of the Global Systems Institute at the University of Exeter, said any risk assessment needs to get a handle on the large impacts if such a tipping point is reached, even if it is a low probability event. The point of this detailed study was to discover how stark the impacts of AMOC collapse could be. Professor Lenton described saying that the climate change is uh, change needs to be combated now if we are to minimize the risk of passing climate tipping points and Professor Ian Bateman of Exeter's Land Environment Economics and Policy Institute said with the land area suitable for arable farming expected to drop from 32 percent to only 7 percent under the AMOC collapse we could see a major reduction in the value of agricultural output in this scenario, we estimate a decrease of 346 million pounds per year, a reduction of over 10% in the net value of British farming. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.